I'm Justin P. Matthew and today I will be discussing about activity diagram. So activity diagram describes how activities are coordinated. Uh, activity diagram is particularly useful when you know that an operation has to achieve a number of different things and you want to model what the essential dependencies between them are before you decide in what order to do them. Activity diagram records the dependencies between activities such as which things can happen in parallel and what must be finished before something else can start. It also represents the workflow of the process. And there's some basic notations, there's activity, there's transitions, and there are some decision diamonds, which is helpful for making decisions. Then we have sync bar, synchronization bar, join, fork, and or XOR. There's a start marker, stop marker, and there's swim lane. This is how a basic activity diagram looks like. So activity diagram is useful to model the dynamic aspects of a system. It is essentially a flow chart showing flow of control from activity to activity. The purpose is model business flows and model operations. So I've done two uh, diagrams. One is with swim lane and the other is without swim lane. So this is how with swim lane diagram looks like. So this box is rectangle kind of stuff so, uh, what we call as swim lane so we have our start marker or we can say the initial state from there it asks the user to enter username and password to login then it provides the operation option for registering the course so if course available uh, we have uh, used the decision if it's yes then we have to return course available if it's no then we are stopping the flow or we can say this is the final flow once the course is available uh, it um, it generates the bill um, billing or payment if payment is done then again we are using a decision and then if it's done then yes course is registered or else again we are moving to the flow final state and the register course is uh, given access to the admin to add course or remove course even the faculties can view the details of the course and once all these uh, things are done we go to uh, log out state and then from there we move to the final state this is how our activity diagram with swim lane looks like now we will take an example without swim lane this is without swim lane so here we have our starting state then login sign up then we are checking for validity if it's invalid then we are asking the user to enter register uh, if it's valid then we are going into a decision and then we are forking and then we have a synchronization uh, tool here from there we are moving to three different states one is register course billing and new details so if in register course we are checking the availability if it's yes then course is registered if it's no then course not available in the billing section if the is registered then make payment if not registered we are closing the stage after that in view details we are giving the option to view the course details and student details again after that we are coming out again the synchronization tool and we are logging out and this is how the final state looks like so i hope you were able to understand the concept of activity diagram with swim lane and without swim lane and understand the difference between both um, so thank you for watching my video please do like share and subscribe